All right, folks. Now, this was something I posted on Friday, but it is a basic walkthrough of accessing the digital comics you're going to peruse. Now, you are not required to use these. I'm just doing this to try and make it a little bit easier on you at the moment, but you should basically be able to do this. Or if you happen to have one on your own, this is why we're having a selection form for this process. Now, what I'm having here, this video is attached to what you see in front of you, the screenshots talking about where the website you're going to go, and then a little bit of a step-by-step -step about logging in, clicking on this link, using here is the password, here is the and the email, keep in mind, this is case sensitive. We're going to go do this in just a second so you can see exactly how this works. And then underneath there, okay, I have got very specifically how to locate the books, how to browse, and then some guidance about what to pick because mixed in here are both comic books and graphic novels. And I want to briefly mention this because I think I touched on this in class. But let me go over this um, because you need to have made a selection and go ahead and start reading this week. And you're going to make sure that you post your selection in Moodle for me by, um, it will be under this section here. I'll upload it a little bit later. This will be the area where you're going to upload um, your selection. And then this is also where you'll post your rough draft and your final draft. And just a real quick note, I have your, final, your rough drafts here. I will be looking at these and returning to you and I'll be adding a form for the final draft as well. Now let's go take a look at that website here. So here it is. Here's the website. I'm going to go over here following the instructions. I'm going to go click on login. I'm going to click on the Amazon sign in. Okay. Now it's going to give me the offer, the chance, but let me do this. I don't want it to log me in. Okay. No, nope, don't do that. Don't log me in. I want to type the password. Okay. I'm going to back out here. Just because I, I want you to see, make sure you understand how the type password. So I'm just going to type this manually. Okay, so here is the username. All right. And now to keep this and remember this, okay, it's not going to let me show it to you, but I'm going to make sure to do it. So I would go capital E, then lowercase V E A, V A. Uh, Sorry, back up there. Capital E, V A N S, dash, capital E, capital N, capital G, capital L, 101. Okay, now this should log me in. And I did that, made sure to do that in cap safe, you know, make sure that you follow the fact that it does have certain caps. So it's a capital E for Evans, and then capital E N G for English followed by 101 and there's a dash that separates Evans and English. If you have any troubles with that, please let me know. Now, the next step here is I'm going into my books and if you remember the step-by-step -step process here, I talk about selecting my books, which I just did, and then I'm gonna click browse library. Now this is gonna show me all the books that I have, have here, okay? Now, there are lots to choose from, but let me just go ahead and make a note that some of these are what we call graphic novels, which means when I say graphic novels, they are much, much larger. For example, this here is a collection of several single issues. And if you wanted to say focus on a single issue inside of here, that would be fine. But let me show you what happens here. I'm going to go down here and just browse pages. This is an easy way to find out. All right. If I start zooming ahead, it, once it gets past about 28, you'll see here. And then I know I'm dealing with multiple, multiple large size collection here. Now, if I wanted to, this would still be doable. Let's say, for example, I only wanted to, and I know this because this was a trade collection of several issues. Let's say I, I wanted to do the first issue. Then the easiest way to do that, okay, so here I am. I'm going to go to the cover. Okay, this is issue number one of 12. What I would want to do then is sort of proceed through this. So let's say I wanted to actually do this issue for some reason. Even though it is part of a larger collection, what I would need to do then is just simply determine where is my stopping point. This is number issue number one of 12. So if I scan along here, I'm trying to think where I am page wise. Okay, I'm on page 22. Somewhere around 28. Okay, here it is, right there. There's the end. The end comes right here. 
on what is page 26. Okay, if I wanted to do that, I could do that. That's fine. I just don't want you reading a large graphic novel and getting yourself way in over your head. This is only supposed to be a short assignment. So that is one way if you wanted to handle that. But I want you to know that there are several single issues. For example, Captain America. This is where they're going with the movies, by the way. Here is... Let's make sure this is it's not a volume. It says volume one, but if I'm correct, this is just simply the first issue. Nope. No, it isn't. Oops, my bad. So this is actually a graphic novel. I forgot about it. But again, this would be a situation, real quickly, if you wanted to read a small segment of this, okay, what you need to do is go basically up to where it's about the 20, because I imagine this is a collection. So if I go right about here... Here's a recap. So everything from here, from this point. So this would lead me back from 21 to 1. Okay? I could do that. You just need to make sure you give us a specific designation. All right? So that, again, is, like I said, a graphic novel. Now, this right here is, by itself, just simply a comic book. And notice one of the easiest ways to tell this. I get down here. Rather than saying volume, it just says Action Comics number 1. It gives me an issue number. That's really one of the easiest ways for you to do that, other than to come inside here and go look where the maximum pages go out here. And so this one actually goes a little bit longer, but this one goes to basically 35. So within a 20, 25 to 35 range is where you're gonna find most comics. Now what you need to do is go peruse, go take a look at this, okay? Look through this, decide if you wanna break off a piece of a certain volume, a larger volume that really appeals to you and you just wanna do one issue. Look at what I just noted, okay? But you're gonna to post to Moodle what you have selected by next uh, next Wednesday, this coming Wednesday, which is the 18th. And that form will appear here, just like with SA1, when you had that first blog post, this time around it's gonna be you posting your comic book selection. So if you need any guidance or help, I can do that for you. All right, 